I'd like to speak today to our Main Street investors, people who are saving for long-term goals, investing for long-term goals, or who have invested over the long term and now are in their retirement and need to look to those investments to support their lifestyle. The SEC's role is basically to um, make sure that the markets are working in a way that uh, provides a level of confidence to the average investor. What I've found that the people, the staff people that work here that are doing the the day-to-day -day work at the Commission um, are here for the right reasons. The reason we do it is to protect investors because every time we stop a fraud there are some number of people who aren't going to be victims. Our markets are an important part of facilitating the American dream. They allow people who want to invest in their businesses to raise capital, they allow people to invest for tomorrow, and they allow people who have invested over time to continue to reap the rewards of those investments. But I understand that there are bad actors and that if we don't keep them out, it will spoil this very good thing that we have. There's a real sense of satisfaction in bringing a case against someone or stopping someone who's in the midst of taking money away from other people. One of the most important things you can do in protecting yourself is to check out who you're dealing with. And the first place to start with that research is our website at investor.gov. That's a website that, that people can get a lot of information about different types of investment products. But you can also find out about investment professionals there. To see whether the person who's selling them securities or trying to sell them securities is a licensed individual, whether they have a bad disciplinary history, have they been in trouble before, have we sued them before? Those are all things you should know. An educated investor makes better decisions. And the more educated investors we have in our marketplace, the better for everyone.